Okay guys, we just went over relational operators. Now we're going to talk about uh, logical operators. So here I'm going to put a comment. Logical operators. Uh, so logical operators compare Boolean expressions. true or false they compare things that are true or false and they return a true or false and they return a boolean result that is true or false so what are the logical operators well there's three of them and this should say six relational operators and three logical operators so the three logical operators are and or and not and I'll give you some examples so and Here's an example. If I um, have a condition, if I have two conditions like 4 is equal to 4 and 5 is equal to 7. So this operator, this logical operator, what it's going to do is compare these two conditions, these two expressions going to pair, compare this expression and compare this expression uh, it's going to compare them to each other and it's going to return true if if both of these are true so this it's going to it's going to look at 4 equal to 4 and that is a boolean expression is this true or false so that's true and is 5 equal to 7 that is false so uh, this returns false and the AND operator allows you to compare these boolean expressions uh, an example of the OR operator logical operator is 4 is equal to 4 and 5 is equal to 7 this is going to return true why is it going to return true? Uh, because at least one of the conditions is true. Oops, it should be or. So So with an or with an or operator, it returns true because only one at least one of the conditions has to be true up here both conditions need to be true uh, or both expressions so let me let me let me state that over here and so this is going to return true if both expressions are true else false uh, the or the or operator returns false if at least one expression is false is true else false and the not just reverses the boolean so returns returns true if the expression is false and false 
if the expression is true. So <coughs> you have three logical operators. The AND is going to return true if both expressions that it's evaluating are true. That's why here both of these need to be true. Both that expression and this expression need to be true in order for this this entire condition or this entire bigger expression to return true. In this case this one is true and this one is false so this is going to return false. In this case uh, the OR operator only needs one expression to be true. So this expression is true, 4 is equal to 4. This expression is false. Uh, but it only needs one of them to be true so this returns true. Uh, here we look at example not so here we go not 4 equal to 4 that's how you would use like a not logical operator and this is just going to return the opposite boolean value of whatever the expression is so returns false why does this not return false because it looks at this expression 4 equal to 4 it's true and then the not just basically flips it from true to false so that's all it does that's that's what the logical operator not does it just returns true if the expression is false or false if the expression is true um, so you're gonna use the relational operators that we covered earlier here, here's your relational operators, the equal sign, right? They could be greater than or not equal to. Uh, they could be any of the six relational operators. You're going to use them in expressions. And then you're going to use the logical operators to combine, uh, to combine the expressions you built, like this. And then in the next video, we're going to go over if statements that are, are going to be able that are going to allow you to test these these entire conditions so consider this as one big condition that 4 is equal to 4 and 5 is equal to 7 you're going to be able to test this and if it's true then you're going to be able to do some code uh, but we'll look at it in a pretty straightforward way in the next video but the main point here is that now you you have the foundation knowing the relational operators and the logical operators to write you know thousands of combinations of if statements and select case statements and make your VBA code very flexible and to do lots of stuff okay so we're ready to write if statements and select case statements in the next video